Stacey White and her son visit Inveralachy Post Office a few miles outside Fraserburgh in Aberdeenshire. But Stacey's not here to deliver a letter. She's here to pick up a prescription and speak to a pharmacist. How? Well, it's all down to a new innovation developed by the University of Aberdeen in conjunction with international digital services company Atos. The robotic pharmacy kiosk has been designed to give people living in rural areas the ability to access pharmacy services remotely. Well, I'm very aware of the fact that community pharmacy services have changed a lot in recent years and community pharmacies now offer far more clinical services to patients than they used to. They're not just about dispensing medicines anymore. The trouble is that there's quite a lot of areas in the country which don't have easy access to a community pharmacy. And so I was trying to find a solution whereby we could provide those services to patients even when they lived a little way away from a pharmacy. It was about supply of basic medicines and talking to the pharmacist and ideally being able to access some of the advisory services that you wouldn't be able to normally get in this re remote location. What we've got for you today is an antibiotic mixture um, the doctor. Through the kiosk, a user can speak directly to a pharmacist for advice. In this case, the pharmacist Bairds is in nearby Fraserburgh, but in practice, they could be anywhere. Prescriptions can be scanned into the kiosk, securely sending the encrypted data to the pharmacy, where the prescription is made up and delivered back to the kiosk. A text or voice message alerts the user that their order is ready and supplies a unique code and entering the code dispenses the medication to the user. We know from telemedicine that once people start to use uh, a technology solution, they, they find it very good and the outcome is also very good. So we believe it is the way forward. Certainly for people who can't live near a pharmacy, um, it's a very, very important development where we're thinking of things like the islands, where there isn't a doctor, there isn't a pharmacist, they've no easy access to medicines, truly remote areas where the advantages will be, I think, very obvious to the residents. Developed with research funding from the Chief Scientist Office of the Scottish Government and investment from digital services company Atos, the kiosk posts novel features to other devices used in some areas of England. Well, Atos are always looking uh, to innovate new solutions in the health service and we've worked really well with our e-pharmacy programme uh, and with this opportunity with the University of Aberdeen. There are other machines but this one has specifically been designed and tailored with ourselves, Atos and ARX uh, to make sure it satisfies the requirements so the patient can not only talk to the pharmacist, they can collect prescriptions, they can deposit prescriptions they can access the minor ailment service. So it's unique in the respect that we've gone further than we've seen in other solutions. The research project is due to be in place for around four months, after which the project will be reviewed and feedback assessed.